saddle. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking right now because I've had deer milling around me already. And there's no sense in smoke and I'm just trying to talk to a camera. So let's see if we can get some deer on the ground today. Oh, it's 7.30 now. And uh, we've only had one shot in this block that I'm hunting. Just not a lot of shoot this morning. Maybe a lot of people are holding out for a buck, I don't know. But I'm pretty confident at some point there will be deer in this bedding area today. And there's also a water source about 20 yards in front of me here that I just found. It's, it's a puddle. And they drink out of this puddle pretty regularly. I figured while I warm up, take a little break, we go drive by the local game lands here, and uh, I do this almost every year. I like, I like seeing how many guys are out on this game lands. It is, it's a, it's a thousand acres of game lands. Um, most of the parking lots are on this road. So I, I always, I like seeing how many people are out. I didn't hear any shooting from here this morning. I would assume that I can hear that. It's only a couple miles away. We'll go see how many guys are out. Maybe we'll see somebody dragging some deer.
like the Amish were out of that one. See a bunch of bikes. Up here is the big parking lot. This will be the telltale sign of just how, how full this game lands is today. It's not that bad. And there's guys here, but like I said, this is a thousand acres. It's really not, not too shabby. Oh, we're heading back in for the rest of the day. Got some food, I got to pee, got some water, and uh, I try to sneak back up into that bedding area. Naturally, when I wasn't there, there was a little deer that snuck through. It's not even anything I would shoot. It doesn't seem like we missed a whole lot. Well, they're still shooting, so that's good. first actual video recorded here this today just a tiny little buck I think he probably hit our scent trail and uh, that sent him into a pretty good tizzy there now I know if a bigger buck does that I need to shoot him before he gets there but it's good to know the deer are up and moving and uh, hopefully some more deer Well, I'll be perfectly honest, yesterday was, uh, that was probably the worst opening morning I've ever had. I mean, one, I seen, technically I seen two, but I only got one deer on camera. And there was like no shooting down where I was at. It's very odd. Normally you get a couple cracks that like, you know, jump you a little bit, get you a little, ooh, that was close. No, there was none of that yesterday. So, I'm not going to be able to hunt all day today because there, there's a major rainstorm coming through. So, I'm going to go sit on uh, our big food plot and see if I can get a deer coming in there to feed before this rain comes. There's, that, there's one there right now. It's been in front of the camera for the past like 20 minutes. Hopefully that deer works off and I can sneak in and up that tree stand. Hopefully by the time I get there, it, it would be like almost, uh, I'll be there in 10 minutes, but it would be almost, uh, almost an hour that deer's been in the food plot. I'm hoping by then it's worked off. It looks like a button buck, but I still don't want to spook it. I'd like to be able to get in there without scaring any deer off, so... We're going to give her hell today. The rain's supposed to come through around 10 o'clock, so hopefully we can get something on the ground before that. Well, it's just getting light enough that I can see. <coughs> I've been sitting here for almost an hour now. There's been deer all around me most. 
house in the morning. I can hear him walking. I definitely heard one coughing up a lung over here in the power line. So there, there is deer around me. I just don't know if they're gonna be up and moving with this storm coming. pumping a little bit, but one was a fawn, and one's a button buck, both of which I really don't want to use a tag on. We've seen some deer. I've seen more deer today than I did yesterday, so for right now, it's a major win. For once, the weatherman was right. <clears throat> he said it was going to start raining at 10 o'clock, and he's a pretty smart, smart guy. This has got to be the worst opening weekend I've ever experienced. 
And I'm on private land, surrounded by private land. There's no public land for a couple miles away. The deer just aren't moving, or they just ain't on this property right now. I'm gonna pack my stuff up and uh, get the hell out of here before I ruin something. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it wasn't a great video, but this is hunting. This is real hunting. So, there's nothing I can do about it. Peace. Hope you guys all had better luck than I did.